Pam Greer, born Pamela Suzette Greer on May 26, 1949, is an American actress known for her pioneering roles in the black exploitation film genre and her contributions to the entertainment industry. Pam Greer was born in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, to Clarence Ransom Greer Jr., a mechanic in the United States Air Force, and Gwendolyn Sylvia Samuels, a nurse. She came from a large family and had three siblings. Pam Greer was exposed to the entertainment industry at an early age. Her cousin was the famous jazz musician and composer Quincy Jones, who had a significant impact on her life. Greer attended East High School in Denver, Colorado, where she was involved in sports and became an excellent athlete. Later, she studied at Metropolitan State College in Denver. While studying at Metropolitan State College, Pam Greer entered several beauty pageants and won titles such as Miss Colorado Universe. In the early 1970s, Pam Greer moved to Los Angeles with the intention of pursuing an acting career. Her striking looks and talent quickly caught the attention of the entertainment industry. Pam Greer gained widespread recognition for her roles in black exploitation films, a genre of exploitation movies that targeted an African American audience. Her breakthrough role came with the film Coffee, 1973 directed by Jack Hill. In the 1973 film Coffee, Pam Greer plays the titular role of Coffee, a character who seeks revenge against those involved in the drug trade after her sister becomes a victim of addiction. Directed by Jack Hill, Coffee is a classic example of the black exploitation genre, and Greer's performance in the lead role contributed significantly to her status as an icon of the genre. Greer became an icon of the black exploitation era with roles in films like Foxy Brown, 1974, and Sheba Baby, 1975. She was known for portraying strong, independent, and charismatic female characters. Beyond black exploitation, Pam Greer had a diverse acting career. She appeared in a range of films and television shows, showcasing her versatility as an actress. Pam Greer has experienced both challenges and evolution in her career, showcasing resilience, versatility, and a willingness to navigate the changing landscape of the entertainment industry. After the decline of the black exploitation genre in the late 1970s, Pam Greer faced challenges transitioning to other roles. The industry was undergoing changes, and opportunities for African American actresses in diverse roles were limited. Greer, like many actors associated with specific genres, faced the risk of typecasting. The success of her early black exploitation films led to expectations that she would primarily play similar roles, which could limit her range as an actress. The entertainment industry underwent shifts in the types of films being produced, and Greer had to navigate these changes. The demand for black exploitation films diminished, requiring adaptation to new trends and opportunities. During a period, Pam Greer took a hiatus from Hollywood, the challenges of finding roles that matched her talent, and breaking away from the black exploitation image contributed to her decision to step back from the industry. Pam Greer experienced a career resurgence in the 1990s marked by her collaboration with director Quentin Tarantino. Her role in Jackie Brown, 1997, brought critical acclaim and renewed attention to her acting prowess. Post Jackie Brown Greer showcased her versatility by taking on a variety of roles in film and television. She demonstrated her ability to excel in different genres, including action, drama, and comedy. In 2000, Pam moved back to Colorado, where she bought a 4.6-acre ranch for $449,000. Over the ensuing decades, she renovated and restored the property. She also began rescuing horses. Pam listed the ranch for sale in April 2020 for $1 million. She ultimately sold the property in October 2020 for $940,000. She has a net worth of $4 million. The famous actress never entered a marriage and has no children. Nevertheless, she had romantic relationships described as very well known. First on the list was Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, a renowned basketball player who converted to Islam shortly after becoming an item. 
Kareem actually asked the big question, but gave Pam an ultimatum to become a Muslim convert before a marriage could take place between them. According to reports, Kareem asked a Muslim woman to marry him if Pam turned down the offer. Pam Greer refused to embrace Islam and Kareem kept her threat and married the Muslim woman in waiting. The next guy she dated was Freddie Prince, a comedian she had met when she was promoting for her film called Coffee in 1973. The duo fell in love at the wedding, but the boyfriend wanted Pam to have a baby for him. Pam, who considered Prince to be unstable, refused to give birth with him as he was still depressed. Even after deciding to quit, they were still in touch until his suicide in 1977. While dating Prince, she met her third boyfriend, Richard Pryor, but their relationship didn't take off until they played the same roles in the film, Greased Lightning. Pam helped Pryor learn to read and did her best to help him reduce his addiction to hard drugs. She passed six months before Pryor suffered a relapse. In Pam's memoir, she revealed that she had cocaine residue buildup in her genitalia and cervix as a result of her sexual encounter with Pryor. The obvious conclusion was that Pryor had rubbed cocaine on his genitals during sex with Pam, causing the substance to build up in his cervix. After some time, it was announced that Pryor had hired another woman while his relationship with Pam Greer was still in place. That was in 1977. In 1988, the popular actress was diagnosed with cervical cancer, which was already in the fourth stage. The verdict was that she only had one year and six months left to live. But thanks to vigorous treatment and a strong will to live, Pam Greer made an unexpected recovery and has been in remission ever since. She had romantic relationships with other guys like Wilt Chamberlain, a basketball player, and Don Cornelius, who hosts Soul Train. Pam got engaged to Kevin Evans, a music manager in 1998. Unfortunately, their relationship fell apart the following year, 1999. She was also romantically involved with Peter Hempel, a marketing manager. Pam Greer, diagnosed with stage of four cancer, was given just months to live. She took to alternative methods after traditional ones failed to cure her. Pam Greer, who was always portrayed as the hard-as-nails but sexy heroine able to handle herself in any situation, finds herself dealing with one of the harshest conditions yet. Cancer. A totem of power. Greer was a beautiful black female action hero. She was smart and unbreakable taking no guff from corrupt cops, conniving women or feral men. The curvaceous actress's life was on pause during the time she dealt with cervical cancer. Other people she knew were moving on with their lives and she was unable to. While speaking to Black Doctor Org, she said, It was the 80s and everyone was buying a second and third home and moving into lifestyles that were fruitful. She added, I was thinking I would have that. It was time to get married, maybe have children, and it all came to a screeching halt. My life and my journey took another route, but it made me stronger. The news of her diagnosis came as a shock to the Talon Kid actress, even though her cousin, who she considers an adopted sister, died of breast cancer. She said, Other than my sister, there is no history of cancer in my family. She continued. We think hers was possibly from being a flight attendant because a lot of women became very ill working in those types of environments. She talks about dealing with the deadly disease in her new book, Foxy, My Life in Three Acts, and during an appearance on the Oprah Winfrey show, she describes how doctors suggested she tried Chinese herbs after traditional methods had failed. The Foxy Brown actress said, My physician said, Western medicine has done all it can. I'm sending you to Chinatown. You'll meet these practitioners and you'll listen to them. The Friday Foster actress is fortunately now cancer-free. She describes herself as a country girl at Heart and had retreated to her peaceful country home when she was diagnosed, and it helped her overcome the devastating diagnosis. Though no one is ever cured of cancer, Pam has been in remission for years.
Not one to take her health lightly, she constantly surrounds herself with the simplicities of the environment. She currently resides on a farm in rural Colorado and delights in coming home to a well of fresh, clear mountain water with no chemicals in it and clean air, she tells Oprah Winfrey. In January 2020, Greer had to speak out after rumors surfaced online that she was yet again suffering from stage 4 cancer. A representative for the 72-year-old star revealed then that Greer was healthy and happy to be working on her ABC show, Bless This Mess, a Golden Globe nominee for Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown. Greer is happy to be alive and is healthier than ever. She's kept a low profile recently after a career spanning 50 years, which includes starring on hits like Miami Vice, Mars Attacks, In Too Deep, and Jawbreaker. Thanks for watching.